Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about some amazing exclusive features for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3. Now, Samsung calls these next level foldable experiences. It's a bunch of amazing features, and I do want to let you know before we dive in that if you have a previous version of the Fold or the Flip, you're also gonna be getting these features as an update. So basically, anybody that has a Galaxy Z phone is gonna be able to enjoy these features. So let's dive in and talk about number one. It is known as the drag and split. So basically, if you launch the internet browser that's built into all these phones, so let's say you're on a website and you see a specific link on that website you no longer have to open up a new tab and lose the main website. What you can now do is anything that is a link, you can drag and drop. You can press and hold, and then you can drag and drop it, and you can, in fact, open up a split view experience. So that link opened up here, so I can continue browsing here, and I can take a look at this if I want to. And if I'm not that interested, I can just swipe this away, which is great. And I also want to let you know, you can do the same thing this way. So when you press and hold and you make, you just uh, drag and drop, when you drag it to this side, you can have that window open on this side or that side. It's going to be up to you. And one more thing, again, if you press and hold, you can also drag to the top. So it can have a, let's first activate the multi-view. Once you activate this, if you don't let go, you can drag it to the top or the bottom or the middle as a pop-up. So you can have it in any format that you desire, horizontal or perpendicular. So powerful feature to use if you are perhaps researching something, perhaps reading something. Don't have to open a new tab, you can have that split screen view. So that's number one, drag and split exclusive foldable experience. Now the other feature is known as the multi-active window and natural window switching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch three applications at the same time. So I'm gonna launch the clock application. Uh, let me just bring in my Apps Edge panel. I'm gonna dump in the calculator application right here as a split screen. And I'm gonna dump in one more. Let's grab the notes application right here. So let's have a three-way split screen multitask. Now with the multi-active window on One UI 3.1.1, the good news is you can drag and drop and resize anything as you want. Previously, this was a set layout that you could not change. It would have to stay just like this. Now, like I said, you can drag and drop and resize anything that you want. That's the enhanced multi-active window. The other thing is known as the natural window switching. So that means I can press on the top of any one of these windows. You see these lines on the top right here? They're all clickable. Now when you click it, it detaches that window and then you can move this window anywhere else and it's gonna resize everything accordingly and that's known as the natural window switching. Again, you see that bar, you press and hold and you can drag it and you can swap places. It's really amazing. Once you open up your applications, you can reconfigure the layout to get the best working layout for you. And I do wanna let you know certain applications by default may not work in this multi-active window interface, so you may not be able to have it here as an option. To make sure all apps are compatible with this view, just make sure to go to settings, go into the advanced features, and then go to labs and make sure multi-window for all apps is enabled. So that's going to make sure any app that's not even compatible, Samsung software is going to make sure it becomes compatible. So you can have this kind of layout basically with any app combination. When you're ready to close these applications, you just tap on the Recents App button and you just swipe it away and that multitasking combo closes up. The next thing I'm going to talk about is something a lot of people were complaining about. It's known as the aspect ratio for applications. So for example, let me launch Instagram real quick. I have it right here in the background. So you can see that the Instagram application is in fact compressed. And we have these bars in the background. Now it looks nice, you know, you got a nice blur that kind of hides the wallpaper in the background. So it's gonna blur based on the wallpaper in the background. But what if you want this application to take the full screen mode? So all you do is you can set the aspect ratio. So you can go to the settings, you can go into the advanced features 
and then you go labs and then you go over here to customize app aspect ratios once you do that you go for Instagram for example this is applicable to every single app and you get to customize it so right over here so we're gonna tap on this one and what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say full screen now when I go back to the Instagram application it's going to in fact take the full screen and that's what some people like so that is the ability to set an aspect ratio for any app from advanced features under left the next option I'm going to talk about is known as the app split view so if I go to my settings you can see we have a split view going on here we have the settings screen on this side and then we have the expansion of each setting shows up over here this wasn't the case in the previous folds but it's going to be now this option is going to trickle down to other folds and on top of that Samsung is expanding the split view to more and more apps as time goes by so always you want to go to your settings you want to go into advanced features you want to go to labs again and you want to go to app split view and there are certain applications that this feature is going to be available with regular updates and you can enable or disable app split view for certain applications as they become available but by default it's going to show up in many applications like the settings messages and a few other local applications. The next fantastic feature is known as pinning your favorite apps to a taskbar. So again, when you pull the apps edge panel in, you tap this button, at the bottom there's gonna be a pin option if you enable it, and that's gonna give you a permanent dock as you can see. This dock always stays here. Even when I launch applications, the dock's gonna be here for easy access to other applications. That was very easy as you just saw. So that's gonna be stay docked there. You want to make sure you pin it and you can unpin it anytime by clicking that pin icon here but if you want to enable this option and by the way this option again is coming to other previous foldable smartphones but you go to advanced features you go to labs at the bottom you want to enable pin your favorite applications feature okay so that's fantastic another exclusive feature for foldable smartphone now another fantastic feature is cover screen mirroring so basically if I go into, if I pinch the screen, if I go to settings, it takes me to the home screen settings. Here, we have an option you can turn on. You can do on or off. Now, what this allows you to do is instead of having two screens, one on the inside and one on the outside, which is right here, and it's going to be different than what we have in the inside, you can mirror both of those displays. So if I pinch the screen and go to settings, and if I say cover screen mirroring, What's going to happen is the main screen, which is the inner screen, is going to reflect over here, okay? So make all the changes you want on the inner screen, and then you pinch it, you go to settings, and you enable this, and it's going to replicate everything over. So you can see here, each page of your main screen will show two pages of the cover screen layout. Actually, my bad. What's going to happen is the cover screen is going to split up and it's gonna reflect on the main screen. Let me just show it to you. So I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna say apply, and you see it's gonna split and send. So when I click apply, uh, the main screen from the cover display is now here. If I had extra home pages on the cover display, they would show up here as well, but only have one, so that came right here. So it's gonna mirror the outer display. The good news is you can turn this on and off whenever you please, when you're done, you pinch, settings, boom, off, apply, and look at that. We get the same thing that we had uh, previously. And one more clarification, the wallpapers are independent. So if you set a wallpaper on this screen via the wallpapers uh, application, it's going to be for this screen only, and you're going to have a separate wallpaper on the outer display when you set a wallpaper there. When you do cover screen mirroring, the wallpapers are not going to be affected. You're gonna have, still gonna have separate wallpapers. It's just gonna be the apps and the layout. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about has to do with this flex mode panel. So you can see the phone is bent and we have a flex mode active right now. Uh, what happens is the keyboard came to the bottom here and then you have the screen on the top so I can use the calculator. It's gonna be a little more uh, immersive. So here, 556 plus, you can see it's a split screen view. So this is a nice little option that you can enable on any application if you so desire. Some applications like the camera 
has it built in by default. So look at this. This is the full screen camera, but when I bend it, it's going to give me that split view. Okay, so we have control panel at the bottom and the screen on the top. So that's great. Now, if you want to extend this flex mode option to other applications, all you do is go to your settings, go into the advanced features, and then what you want to do is you want to go into labs and go to flex mode panel. And whatever application that you want to experience that flex mode, you can enable them independently, as you can see. Many apps that are built into Samsung, like calculator, calendar, camera, they already support the flex mode, so it's by default. But other applications, you have to enable if you want to experience that. And those are some fantastic foldable-only experiences for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, and some of them work on the Flip 3 as well. But now, they're going to trickle down to other Fold devices as well, just so you know. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day. Stay subscribed for more awesome, detailed videos for your phone.